huge explosions, and gunfire. You may think a war halfway around the world does nothing but kill people and hurt the economy. This is not true. The United States originally went to Iraq to find weapons of mass destruction. They never existed. Now, there are many terrorist groups within the country, and it is very unstable. This war is important to both you and I because um, the people in the country can now hurt the U.S. and do not like us. I believe the United States should stay in Iraq until the country is completely stable so that Iraq has a permanent democratic government and its people are not a threat to themselves or to others. Three major reasons why the United States should stay in Iraq are the country needs help rebuilding after the initial attacks, the country's government is very unstable since the overthrow of their previous tyranny, and there are still active terrorist groups that could hurt the U.S. in the future. First, the country needs a lot of help rebuilding. Um, according to SIRS, most soldiers, when asked, say that we are helping the country and they believe we should stay. Now, many people disagree and think we are not helping the country at all, but I think we should listen to the people who are experiencing it firsthand instead of what the population thinks that have no idea what's going on, really. Also, think of it like this. Iraq is like the country of Haiti, which was recently devastated by an earthquake. But in Iraq, we caused a problem. Therefore, it is our duty to fix it. Also, many people say, why can't they deal with it? It's their problem. Well, the people in Iraq are actually in poverty or lost their homes from their attacks, so they're not able to help themselves. That's, that means we should help them since we caused the damage. Also, according to the History Network, many terrorist groups within the country are hurting it even more. Therefore, we should help rebuild Iraq and stop these terrorist groups from destroying it again before we leave. The second major reason why the United States should stay in Iraq is because their government is very unstable. Now, many people believe after their recent elections that the country is now stable. However, this is not true. The major reason why their new government is able to enforce their laws is because of the U.S soldiers' presence there. According to SIRS, the major reason why the United States is able to stop terrorism is because of the soldiers and not their own forces, which their death rate is about equal to the terrorist death rate. Um, many people in this school also don't agree with the Iraq war. Out of the people I surveyed, 86% did not agree. Unfortunately, many of these people did not even know what it was about. Out of the people who disagreed, 92% did not know what the United States is doing in Iraq now or why we originally went there. I do not see how it's possible to have an opinion on something if you don't even know what it's about. This seems to be a major problem in the U.S. because many people just listen to the news and don't actually know what's going on. Um, also, history proves that we should be staying in Iraq. In the 1990s, we went to Iraq once before, in the first Gulf War. We went there to find weapons of mass destruction and to stop Iraq from seizing the world's oil supply. The weapons never existed, and we, the war then became largely unpopular in the United States. We then left. Sound familiar? Nearly the same exact thing has happened again in the second Gulf War. Do you want it to happen again a third time if we do not fix the problems now? The last reason why the United States should stay in Iraq is because of the many terrorist groups in the country. Now, many people think that once we leave, they will stop. But why would this be true? There's no logical reason. Some people say that's because they only hate us because we're in this their country. But they actually hated us before, and they will still and they still hate us for many other reasons. Um, also, many, another major reason why people want us to leave Iraq is because of the death rates of our soldiers. However, as you can see in this graph, our U.S. soldier death rates, which is in the blue, is very low compared to the terrorist death rates, which is in the red. 
Therefore, we are actually doing stopping terrorism with minimum casualties. Also, when we were looking for the weapons of mass destruction, we found mass graves of a religious group in Iraq. This is because there are three religious groups in Iraq that hate each other and want the others dead. Once we leave, how do we know they will not go back to killing each other like they were before? I think the U.S. should leave our troops in Iraq. We can then look for and destroy the many terrorist groups there. At the same time, we can help rebuild Iraq and help stabilize a permanent democratic government where the people decide who leads the country and there are checks and balances like there are in the United States. I urge you to send emails and to get your parents to send emails to our congressmen telling them to leave the troops in Iraq. As you can see, there are many good reasons why the United States needs to stay in Iraq. And the only major reason people want to leave is because of the economy. However, is money really more important than lives and safeties? I do not think so. We already made a mistake by leaving Iraq unstable at the end of the first Gulf War, which led to the loss of many lives. Do you want the same thing to happen again? Thank you.